Well, switching gears to the coronavirus pandemic and a lofty prediction from the CDC forecasting the number of new hospitalizations will decrease over the next month. This marks the first decrease prediction since June 23rd as the nation entered a third wave of the virus. But the CDC did not forecast whether new cases would also trend downward. However, officials admit the agency's forecasts have not reliably predicted cases, hospitalizations or deaths in the past. Meanwhile, one in 100 Arizonans have been hospitalized for COVID related symptoms. Right now, only 7% of ICU beds are available throughout the state. Arizona scientists are now joining a nationwide study on COVID-19 in kids. The researchers at TGen are focusing on long term COVID and its effects on some of your youngest population. Well, Team 12's Jen Wall joins us live this morning from Phoenix. So why is this new study such a big deal? Yeah, good morning to you, Ryan and Rachel. Well, we've heard about these long term COVID cases happening in young adults and children across the nation, and it's devastating and heartbreaking. So now this new study, which involves Tijin right here in Phoenix, is going to be really impactful for young people, especially when you're considering that more than 30% of new COVID cases are in children and young adults. So scientists are now working to understand those long term impacts of COVID. COVID on young adults and children, their health, development and well-being. It's all critical information that they're looking for. Tijin's role will be in the part of the study involving infants through adults age 25. The Phoenix based organization says long term COVID has potentially long term consequences on physical and mental abilities in our younger populations. But the problem is it's poorly understood. So Tijin is joining a team of researchers, universities and hospitals in this recovery initiative. It's sponsored by the National Institutes of Health. Study recruitment is happening right now. Those include people who have recovered as normal from COVID, but also the long COVID patients who might be experiencing long COVID right now, or those who uh, had it in the past and uh, know that they would uh, be characterized as a long COVID patient. So Tijin tells us that the final study design here is still in the works and coming up live at 6 a.m. We're going to talk about this really interesting online memory study that they're planning to use for this and how it could potentially help a lot of kiddos out there that have been really, really sick. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Jen Wall, Today in AZ.